So we have So right off the bat, when I think metal, I think double bass. So if you've been following along, you know that this is in 4-4. And again, I want to go back to the grid real quick. So here are our quarter notes, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, right? In between that, eighth note, eighth note, eighth note, eighth note. In between those, we have 16th notes, right? 16th notes, etc. So in between, we'll have 32nd notes, but I think for right now, we can get away with a 16th note double bass drum pattern. Since we already have some stuff going on here, I'm going to use it. So. this down bring it down here okay right off the bat I'm gonna make a copy of this drag this into the 16th note slots okay then I'm going to tweak the velocities of all this. So that's equal. What's this like 98? Yeah. All right. So bring that up. And probably bring the velocity of this a little bit further. Should bring that down a little bit. And and the thing with this is that metal is meant to be loud, so we actually have to be a lot less subtle with our velocities. So as far as the stronger beats go, in fact, yeah, make the snares. symbols and then here is where I will probably do every other and just treat it you know a little less each time so was that 86 83 yeah let's bring that down a little bit and bring that up and this will give the illusion of like, you know, unevenness in the feet, which in my opinion sounds really good when, when a drummer plays that way. It just sounds very human. So, you know, there is a fine line between, uh, you know, uneven and just off, but this gets easier with, with practice. So let's bring these down a little bit more. And then I would just repeat that you know, throughout. Do the same thing over here. Let's see. Probably just do the same thing. Highlight all this. Option, click, hold, drag. And fortunately, with Easy Drummer, there's multiple kick spots, so I can, you know, let's say if I want to get rid of this, I can. Bring everything else up. And then, let's see. In fact, I will just, so I just wanna fix velocity on all this. So I'll go into functions, MIDI transform, fixed velocity. So I'll do just 127 is the highest that it can go and bam as you can see all bright red it's gonna be crazy loud and then get rid of that and then what i would do is probably just highlight this again 
bring this down, and fill up the 16th note spots. Do another fixed velocity. So maybe transform, fixed velocity. And this time try like 98 or 95, <laughs> sure. Change that. Okay, so that gives me kind of like a head start. And then from there, I'll probably just go by, uh, you know, measure by measure basis and just tweak things like I was doing over here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this helps out. And if you're interested in going a little bit further in depth, I've actually put together a sample module from a recent course that I put out that deals with drum programming. It walks you through how to work with pre-existing MIDI drum grooves all the way up to, you know, creating stuff from scratch. So if you're interested in that, you can grab it at the link in the description. Thanks again for watching and let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Definitely drop a comment and let me know. Thanks again.